be aware of discouragers. Be aware of discouragers. Every journey to success cannot miss men and women that have been positioned by the enemy to discourage your cause. Every journey to any form of great success, be it in your academics, be it in your business, be it in family issues, be it in your spiritual work, cannot be without discouragers who have been positioned by the enemy to ensure that you do not succeed. Therefore, you have to be aware. Discouragers can be people from within or people from without. Be aware of discouragers. For you to be successful, you must concentrate and focus on your goal and your assignment. For you to be successful or to finish your race, you must concentrate on your goal and your assignment. Nehemiah chapter 6 and verse 1 and 2. Nehemiah chapter 6. Nehemiah was assigned by God to rebuild Jerusalem. Rebuilding means doing it again. There are many of us this morning who have made up our minds to connect with God again, regardless of what we have heard people talk about us. That means Jerusalem was pure the first time, but something wrong happened to it, and it has to be redone. Even in your Christian walk, you may reach somewhere and something happens and you literally stop moving. But there must come to a time when you reconsider doing it again. Maybe you used to pray, you are no longer praying. Reconsider praying again. Maybe you used to be a giver, anything of the kingdom. But you are discouraged. Reconsider doing it again. The God you serve believes in redoing it, in repurity. Even if it was Jerusalem, it does not go to build another city. It builds the same Jerusalem, but another time. If God cannot give up on Jerusalem, he has to rebuild it again. That tells you he cannot give up on you. He will have to do it again for your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nehemiah was given instructions by God to go and rebuild Jerusalem. And there were people who believed that Jerusalem can never be rebuilt. Do you know there are people who believe you cannot rise again? All of them can believe like that. But your pastor and your God believes you will make it again. There are people who believed Jerusalem will never rise. But while they were believing Jerusalem will never rise, 
God was in the business of assigning Nehemiah to repair it. That tells you the way people think and the way God thinks is different. People think it can never happen. But your God thinks it will happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are people who believe your case is gone. But God believes your case is beginning. Hallelujah. I wish you knew you are God. You could shout a better hallelujah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. It is never over until God says it is over. Hallelujah. And luckily enough, God never says it is over. He keeps it building until you become the way he wanted God will recondition you. He will make you fresh. He's God. He's going to turn around your life. He will turn around your finances. You know there are people who believe you can never rise. I've come to tell somebody this morning you rise again in Jesus name. Concentrate on your goals. Sit down please. Nehemiah believed God. While people believed Jerusalem cannot come up again, a man was found who believed God. He said, they say the city has come down, but my God has said, I'm going to do it. I don't have what it takes, but I will do it. Why? God said. Hallelujah. When God said, says, you may not have what it takes according to human Fellow human beings. But you know God provided a way. When God has spoken. He again makes a way. Amen. Even foreign kings. Who never believed in Jerusalem. Supported the rebuilding of Jerusalem. They assembled material for Nehemiah. And he had no means of transport. They had to throw all the timber in the water. And the water transported the timber to Jerusalem. Because God had said. Do you know God can assemble things from where people cannot see just to make you better? Yeah. Yeah. I beseech you, brethren, don't doubt God. Yeah. Do not limit him by our human abilities. He is able to make the impossible possible. Yeah. I know him. Yeah. God can do it again. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Therefore, they built Jerusalem. But in the process of rebuilding Jerusalem, there were men somewhere who constantly, not one day, constantly kept on telling people they cannot do it. They cannot do it. There are people who believe you cannot change. You cannot change. You are busy changing. You know, the wall was coming up, but they were saying, it is not coming up. It is, every day it is moving. And when they see it moving higher, they say it is coming down. <laughs> When it was finished, they said it is not even strong. <laughs> they said even a dog and a wolf would just crash it down. And when they sent people at night and they, they pushed and the wall was too strong, they said, what can we do? We must stop even the building of the, the, the gate and, 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 uh, and the wall. So they sent a word. This is what I was reading for you. They sent a word to call Nehemiah. And I want to show you the response of Nehemiah. And I pray that that becomes your response from today. Listen to this. He said, one word came from Sanapalat, Tobiah, Geshem, the Arab, and the rest of our enemies that I had repealed the wall and not a gap was left in it. <laughs> Though up to that time, I had only said the doors in the gates. I had only said them. Now, Sanapalat and Geshem sent me this message. They now wrote a letter because they, they, they realized the man is too busy to be diverted. <laughs> ah, hello? Yes. When they try you and you cannot be find, found, they have to try alternative methods. Yes. But even the alternative methods are not going to work if you are busy. Yes. I always ask people to, to concentrate on their assignment. These people will always be there. The buyer, Sanabalat, Geshem, the Arabs will always be there. They will always be telling you, even your prayer, 
I'm not sure what, whether God is listening. Concentrate on that prayer. When, when, did, when, when were they assigned by God to hear? Who, who, who God is to hear? Who gave them the responsibility to make judgment for Jesus? Who to hear and not to hear? If a person tells you God is not listening to you, why do you believe? Was he with God? Like for me, I will always ask you, hey, you know, I will always ask you that. How did you meet? Because for you to give me a report that God is not listening to me, probably you must have been with him and you must have been taking records for him. But if you are not from there, I, I, I will keep speaking. The more you say God is not listening, the more I say, my father, my father. So what people speak should not stop you from speaking to your God. Because they would always speak. People would always speak. Anyway, Topaya and uh, Sanepharat sent a message to Nehemiah. Come. Now they are, they are now becoming friendly. I didn't want to go through what they had been saying. But now this time, when they realized they cannot stop Nehemiah, they thought like the only way we can do is to divert his attention. If we can take him to an hotel and, uh, and have some discussion, dance at the church. Now, they said, come, let us meet together in one of the villages on the plain of Hono. Hono is a dangerous place. But they were scheming to harm me. Now, verse 3. So, I sent messengers to them. For them, they sent a message written. But he sent them people. Go and tell them with this reply. I am carrying a great project. Amen. <laughs> project. Look at the words. I am carrying a great project. It is simply telling them that what you are telling me cannot be compared. The greatness of what I am doing cannot be compared with the greatness of your assignment. <laughs> I am carrying on a great project and I cannot go down. Why should the work stop while I leave it and go down to you? So Nehemiah refused. Four times, they never gave up. Four times, they sent me the same message and each time, I gave them the same answer. Give them the same answer. Wakikuliza aujabadirisha mawazo, no, I am still where I was. No, I am still in that church. We are doing a great job. We cannot stop and go down to Ono. I refuse to go to Ono. I concentrate on the project. How many of you want to concentrate on the project of the Lord? Please lift up your hands with honesty and tell God strengthen me as I finish this project. project. There are many discouragers, but I am not giving in and I'm not giving up the assignment. There are many discouragers. Lord, help me to succeed. Help me to finish. I take up the spirit of Nehemiah into my heart. I swallow the spirit of Nehemiah. I will be read again. They will say I will give the same answer. They will say I will give the same answer. I am still building it. Just spirit it. Just spirit it this hour. Just make your prayer. Make your prayer this hour. Make your prayer this hour. Just make your prayer. Usiachie kazi yako njiani kwa sababu watu wameongea. Hapana. They will be there to discourage you. Lakini hiyo nyumba itaisha tu. You will do what God said you should. Many issues will come to discourage you. But move on. Mungu nitie ngufu. Imarise mwendo salama.
Jehovah ni pia nguvu ni malisho safari. Ye nguvu yo. Make your prayer, make your prayer. Mungu akutie nguvu. Mungu akutie nguvu. Ya pray. Baba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na kushukuru sana kwa sababu ya watoto wako na kwa sababu ya safari hii. Wengine wanatuuliza mbona mnaamkia asubuhi? Wanacharibu kutu discourage. But this time we will give them the same answer. Tunakwenda kumsikiliza Mungu wetu. Wengine wanauliza bado mnafanya ile kazi. We will give them the same answer. We are under instruction. Na leo nimegundua Mungu kwamba project ya kujenga Jerusalem is greater than any other project. Naomba unisaidie nisimame na watu wako na usaidie watu wako pia kusimama na kazi yako ili Jerusalem hii tuchenge makao makuu tuweke milango mahali pake tuweke wali mahali pake tuhakikishe kwamba kuna usalama miongoni mwa watu wako. Nisaidie mimi kama Nehemiah na timu hii yote tufanye kazi kwa bidii. Katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Ye Mungu wa ne ema tu una ku abudu mumbaji wa vyote duniani na mbingu una